Avengers Infinity War and Endgame have taken the world by storm and I am not immune to the Marvel hysteria. I watched both of them within the first few days they were out, but as a studier of history I immediately noticed that Thanos' diabolical plan was not original. Welcome to Half History Will Travel, I am your host The Wilder Historian and today I want to discuss the historical precedent of Thanos' idea about saving the world by snapping away half the universe's population in order to conserve the food supply. So let me introduce the historical Thanos, the British political economist Thomas Mathis. He published a book entitled Essay on the Principle of Population, where he concerned himself with the rapidly growing population of Britain and the world, and became concerned that the world could not support that population. Therefore, the future generations would suffer if something was not done to stifle the populations from growing. Not only was Malthus an economist, but he was also a minister of the Church of England, and this gave him a platform to implement his plan of how to stop the destruction of the world. He did not go to the extent that Thanos did of advocating for the destruction of half the population, but he did support abstinence and delayed marriage, which would stop the population from growing too fast. Delayed marriage would mean that the people would get married later in life, giving them less childbearing years, which would keep them from having a large number of children. Most of his concern focused on the poor, who he saw as the biggest problem because they seemed to have more children than the more elite citizens. His idea sparked an 1834 amendment to a British law that was created to help the poor, because the idea was that if you help the poor financially, it encouraged them to have more children. During the Irish potato famine that occurred in the 1840s, those same ideas were used to defend not sending aid to the Irish. As you have probably figured out, Malthus' plan did not gain much traction because the world has 7.5 billion people and it's growing. So why did Malthus' theory not pan out? Well, he did not factor in the market revolution and later the industrial revolution. Not long after Malthus's idea was published, the world saw the invention of the steam engine, which gave rise to both the steamboat and the railroad. Both allowed for the rapid movement of foodstuffs across the country and the world. The rise of steam power revolutionized transportation and the support of populations. Add on to that, the American Midwest and the Great Plains became the breadbasket not just of the United States, but of the world by growing large amounts of corn and wheat. Southern cotton helped clothe the world in the 19th and early 20th century, and the colonization of other nations by European powers allowed for more resources to make it to Europe, the United States, and others to prevent famine or population destruction. Additionally, we have developed better land cultivation practices since the 19th century, like advanced fertilizers that keep land fertile. We've developed plants that were more resistant to insects and insecticides that better protect plants. Malthus was the original Thanos, without the snapping of half the universe's population out of existence. I hope you all enjoyed this video, it has been on my mind since seeing the movie and I wanted to bring it to your attention. Please share and support this channel for more dives into history, and I'll see you next time.